I saw the helicopters and I heard the um, the sirens. It is an all-out manhunt. We want to, you know, do our due diligence to make sure that the, the community is safe. Someone shooting at a police cruiser. We believe that he fired three shots, three shots. and that two to three shots were fired at him. Residents are rattled. It's a very quiet area. I mean, you would never think anything like this would happen. Very scary. And we begin with breaking news here at 11. We have new video just in of that police cruiser that was shot at earlier today. Crews towing the burned out SUV from the crime scene a short time ago. Meantime, SWAT teams are on a manhunt for the person who started firing. And until they catch the gunman, no one is taking any chances. Officials announcing tonight there will be no school in Millis tomorrow. We have team coverage tonight, and we begin with Julie Lonchek live in Millis with the very latest on the search. Julie? After a thorough and extensive search, police tell us this evening, late this evening, they no longer believe the pickup and its driver are in this area. So right now, we have a suspect still on the loose, and as you mentioned, no school tomorrow. From the ground, from the air. A massive manhunt forced frightened residents to stay inside and had an entire community on guard. It's crazy for this little town. This is a sleepy little town. Just after two, police say a Millis police officer driving down Forest Road noticed a maroon pickup in the opposite direction. Without provocation, police say the driver fired two or three shots at the officer. I saw the cop car further down the road. Yeah. Right? So I'm sitting there, I'm like, what the hell? And I was saying, boom, boom, boom. The cruiser hit a tree and burst into flames. Miraculously, that officer made it out, returning fire. This mailman ran to help. The cop was out of the car, he was behind the car. I asked him if he was all right, because he was on his knees, like, leaning on his knees, and he goes, yep, he just told me to go. Multiple agencies from across the region aided in a search of sheds, homes, and the heavily wooded area for hours, but came up short. We were told that this was, like, a little bit more serious than usual, and we had to stay in our classroom. Hours earlier, police say two threats were called into the middle school. One indicated a crime may occur in town today. Schools went into lockdown, but at this point, police don't believe the threats are related to the random shooting. We don't believe the two incidents are linked. However, we're not willing to take any chance when it involves the safety of the children. So the suspect description is as follows. He's a white male, he's tanned, he's between the ages of 25 and 40, and police believe he might still be carrying that black handgun. As for the officer, he was treated and released at a Norwood hospital. He's said to be okay. He is certainly shaken, but he is doing all he can to aid in this investigation. We're live in Millis. Julie Lonchek, WBZ News. David, back to you. All right, Julie, thank you.